Hello, this is Mrs. Jones, your Diversified Occupations Instructor. If you ever need to get a hold of me, my email address is cjones at ictc.edu, or you can call the school at 724-349-6700. I'm extension 145. Um, today we're going to talk about this worksheet that is called Investigate Career Choices 2A. And the main bulk of this worksheet is exploring on the second page, this internet resource. It's called ONET. ONET is a website that you can go to, a database that you can go to and find out a lot of speci specific information about certain occupation choices. It's really good because let's say that you wanna be a marine biologist. There's no, I, I won't say no, there might not be a whole lot of marine biologists that you can find in Indiana County because there's not a lot of oceans nearby. So you can use ONET to search what, what kind of um, schooling you need, what kind of certifications, what's the job outlook for being a marine biologist. I really wish that this website was available when I was going to school because I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't have an idea of how to get there. So today I want to show you ONET, and then I'm going to have you um, search a job yourself. So there's a few things on the landing page of ONET. It's onetonline.org, and you can do an interest profile. So if you're not sure what you want to do, that interest profiler right here will give you kind of like a personality survey. And then your next move of what you want to do from there. You also have um, the availability to put anything about the military in, the, in there. Um, there's a couple different ways to search. You can search by keyword up in the upper right hand corner. You can click find occupations or you can do this occupation keyword search also. Oh, and then also you can do, if you're saying, I don't know what I want to do, but I want something that I know has a bright outlook, that has a lot of job, job opportunities coming up, or something that's really high tech, I can click using these um, kind of keywords also. But let's just use, we're going to use dental assistant because it's right there. And when you search, it's going to give you a whole list of jobs that are occupations that are even gently related to being a dental assistant. So, but this top one would be your most um, uh, connected response, right? And it brings you to a summary page. This summary page has a lot of information on it and it, it's great. It shows the tasks, the technology skills that you would need to know how to do to be a um, dental assistant, work activities. Notice that it says five of 33. That's because on this summary page, it's only showing you the top five. If you click on that, it'll show all 33 different work activities that you might need to do as a dental assistant. The work context context is very interesting because if you're not somebody that wants to be around people or being you know touching other people, physical proximity says that 88% of the time you are very close or near touching another person. So that's that section is pretty interesting. Um, the job zone and then this is a neat section too because. It says it's allowing you to search. I put in the Indiana's area code. If I search for it, the Indiana's area code, it's going to give me a list of schools or places where I can go to become a dental assistant. And it says that in Westmoreland County Community College that I could get my certificate in less than one year. Um, I could get an associate's degree. I could get a two year certificate um, from the different locations. So it looks like I need at least a certificate um, to become a dental assistant. Here it is. 
uh, a good thing with the certifications and the state licenses. If you want to find a certif certification that would be recognizable nationwide, you would be click here. If you're interested and you say, I'm not going to move out of Pennsylvania, I know I'm going to live here forever, I can search for Pennsylvania and it'll tell me the license that I would need to um, be a dental hygienist or a dental assistant and the licensing agency where that comes from. So this is kind of like, what do I need to do to become a dental assistant? Skills, the knowledge that I need, how much education does a new hire need to perform the job occupations? Um, we don't really need a, it says necessarily some college, but no degree required. So you're looking at at least a post-secondary certificate, like from a trade school or something like that. Um, down in this section, you have wages and trends. So a median wage in 2022 was $21.55 an hour. This is neat because we can look at just Pennsylvania and how Pennsylvania ranks with the United States. It looks like Pennsylvania is a little bit, a little bit more. Pretty nice. And then actually it'll break it down into different sections of the state of Pennsylvania too. Gives you an idea of what you might be looking for, looking into as far as finances later on in life. It's projected that they're, you're going to need, or that they are going to need 56,400 dental hygienists or dental assistants before the year 2031. And we can also look at Pennsylvania here. So in just Pennsylvania alone, this is what they're looking at. Its projected growth is 14%. That's not necessarily a very high percentage of growth, um, but that's nice to know. So job openings on the web, you can actually search for job openings. And it says there's a dental assistant in Lewisburg, dental assistant, there's one in Erie. So these are all jobs or places that you can apply for a job right now. And then you can actually apply through the ONET website right here. Lots of information on um, ONET. Related occup occupations. These might be interesting to look at because maybe you've only been familiar with a dental hygienist, but you don't know what an endoscopy technician is. You know, so you can look at those and the, one of those might be more appealing to you. Um, so that's the summary page. It gives a lot of information for just being a summary, but if you click on some of these other tabs, it just gives you a more more detail than what's on the summary. So with the worksheet, what I would like you to do with the worksheet is on the last couple pages, you're going to go to ONET. I want you to find, click find occupa occupations and you're going to search for a job. And then when you search for an occupation, you're going to be answering these questions. And I know that the numbers are wrong and I'm sorry about that. Um, but answer what career are you interested in? What qualities can describe a person in this career? You will be able to answer all of these questions by looking through your ONET page. And on to the next page. Again, I know the numbers are not in order, but um, briefly describe the job outlook for this. And then the last question is that you're going to write a short essay. You don't need to be writing a book, just a little paragraph about what a typical day might look like in that profession that you chose. All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to complete that worksheet and submit it through Google Classroom before Friday at the end of this week. You're also, if you have a pay stub that you are submitting or a log sheet that you are submitting, 
you'd have to take a picture of those two documents and submit them through Google Classroom also. You can just attach them to this assignment. Again, if you have any questions, you can always email me cjones at ictc.edu. And my number here at the school is 724-349-6700. I'm extension 145. All right, have a great week, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye.